I've been keeping a pretty close eye on Ibanez's social media recently, and I'll tell you why. In the past couple of years, there's been a trend in the form of guitar manufacturers branching out into lifestyle products. We've seen some quite funny examples of this over the years, such as Gibson's ludicrously priced leather jacket or the Fender Fedora. Fender also makes cowboy clothes and ski goggles, but I think the Fedora is the worst of it. <laughs> but we're not here to talk about Fender or Gibson, we're here to talk about Ibanez, because over the past couple of months, I've been observing small tastes on their Instagram of what is now the lifestyle section on their website. Just to be safe, you know, if anyone at Ibanez is watching this video, this isn't meant to be a jab at what the company is doing, any of the business practices, what they're selling, it's just funny. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look at the website on my iPad for this because I'm using both iPhones as a camera. <laughs> the lifestyle section starts off with regular merchandise, most of which is actually really badass. This Iron Label t-shirt and this, especially this Green Tube Screamer t-shirt are things I would totally wear. And also you'll notice throughout this video they've seemed to embrace the meme of their product names being stupid and incoherent and they've given all of their lifestyle products similar names. Moving on to the IBAB001 which is an Ibanez water bottle. Now this isn't ludicrous or anything, I just don't really get it. You know, I've considered making like merchandise mugs and the two reasons that I decided against that were A, it would be a nightmare to ship mugs, they would break half the time because mugs are made of porcelain, and B, you don't need to drink out of everything that you like so no one would actually buy a six string TV mug as opposed to like a shirt or a guitar pick. That being said, Ibanez please give me a Tube Screamer mug. <laughs> Moving on, uh, these two are reasonable, Ibanez logo keychain, Ibanez logo sticker. I don't sell keychains, but I do sell stickers, and I do that because stickers are cool and people like them, so fair game on that one, but we're moving swiftly on to Ibanez coasters. <laughs> the ICT-10RG is an assortment of four multicolored RG-shaped mug coasters, and why would you buy that ever? <laughs> See, to me, coasters are a thing that you would find in a house owned by a mum in her 50s, all the walls are painted white, there's only white coal lighting, and all the coasters have inspirational quotes on them. That is not the clientele for Ibanez products, but that's, to me, that, that is the clientele for coasters. <laughs> Case in point, I love Ibanez, I've never used a mug coaster in my life unless I was at someone's house and they asked me to. <laughs> Moving on to the Ibanez towel, this is one I don't understand, because while I've seen people sell beach towels as merchandise, this isn't a beach towel. Those usually do quite well, because, I don't know, you go to the beach, spread it out, lay down on it, and everyone immediately knows what you're into. It's the best way of using yourself as a billboard for what you like but this, at most, you could wrap around your neck at the gym. The way I like to think they thought of making Ibanez chopsticks is that some employee at a brainstorm session just said, we're a Japanese company, what do Japanese people use? <laughs> Couple of points. I like Ibanez, I like sushi, I have reusable chopsticks at home, most of which are stolen from restaurants, but that's irrelevant, yet it would never cross my mind to buy Ibanez brand reusable chopsticks. Ibanez carabiner lanyards, I just assume this is what their employees wear at the factory and so they said let's mass produce some more and sell them, I don't know. <laughs> this is gonna sound like, I don't know, 40 plus uh, Facebook humor, but does anyone buy those lanyards? Like don't they just show up? I, I have like six. I've never bought a lanyard in my entire life and I have enough for every key in the house. Then there is the Ibanez bar stool. Now originally I, I thought, why the fuck would you buy this? But then I remembered that, you know, that bar stool has a bit of a bit of a ring footrest around the legs, and that is precisely the kind of stool that I've been making my videos on for two years, because that is just the best thing for playing guitar, to have a rest for your foot if you want to play in classical position, or even not in classical position. You know, fair game on the stool, actually. Also, I think I've seen, like, Fender sell these on Thoman as well. They just, that, that, that's a cool product for a guitar company. If another company sold those, I'd be a little confused, but for a guitar company, a uh, stool with a footrest is actually kind of good. And last but not least, I have edged you long enough, you saw this in the thumbnail, you want to know what's going on. It's the Ibanez dog bowl. <laughs> There's not much to say about this. Uh, they are they are calling it an accessory bowl. It is very clearly for dog food. Um, you know, it is what it is. I mean, if I had a dog, I don't see a reason to not let him eat out of an Ibanez bowl. It's just... What had, what thought process created this? And why, despite not owning a dog, do I want to buy their entire stock of them? <laughs> now originally when I saw all of this, and this was like, I think before April, so I was like, oh, is this a build up to an April Fool's joke or something? Um, you know, that's what I thought. But it's still on the website, it is July, 
And despite the fact that you can't add anything from the lifestyle section to your cart, I think that may be just based on my location because they don't ship to Germany from that website. But also, if anyone at Ibanez is still watching this, I have a Tube Screamer. If you want to send me a Tube Screamer shirt, I will wear it in my videos. Thank you. <laughs> Also, thank you to my Patreon members for supporting the channel. Uh, if I had wanted to buy some of that merch for this video, they would have made that possible. So their names are scrolling right here, or were scrolling. You can subscribe to the Patreon through the link in the description as well. All of these benefits is what you get in exchange. Uh, you can watch my most recent video somewhere up here. My most recent video about someone's merch uh, up here. Subscribe to the channel somewhere down there if you feel like it's social media is linked in the description. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, goodbye.